Hey guys, it's Gav here, and I just wanted to take a second to show you Loomist 1.2 because it's an upgrade you're not going to want to miss. So let's just pop right in here. Let's look at Loomist. Now, Loomist, if you use Loomist, you already know that our, our concept here was to make a tool that will combine the concepts of things like luminosity masking and, and selective tone control and the zone system and all of these techniques, kind of the, the old with the classical, bring it all together into a system that was much simpler than what else was out there. Loomis has knocked it out of the park. It has been our biggest launch ever because there's absolutely nothing like it. But... Loomis was a passionate project for me. It actually started as a personal project, and I'm always wanting to make it better. So I kind of started looking at the past couple months and all the little issues, the little bugs, the little support issues, and I started, again, kind of looking for ways to eliminate some of the troubleshooting errors that people sometimes run into, simplify the building of the total scale so that there was never any problems with layer names or anything like that. And, and then I found ways to make it faster. Most of the actions run pretty fast in Loomis because they're using the support system of the total map. The longest action is the total map because it has to map out every tone in the image. Okay, what we've done in 1.2 is gone through and eliminated not only some of the little glitchy issues that sometimes popped up, uh, like the bug with color range selection that would sometimes interfere, and that's a bug in Photoshop, not in Loomis, but it would sometimes cause us some problems. We eliminated that and went to went to a completely different direction, but still building the exact same map. So everything in Loomis is going to work exactly the same in terms of you're using it. It's just going to be faster, and you're going to love that part of it. And so we've went to blend ifs and things like that in the selections to make the selections even more precise in terms of your mapping of your zones and things like that. Let me just show you. So here's Loomist 1.1. I'm going to build the map on this image. Now, this is a fairly ordinary, this is just an 8-bit, fairly ordinary size, like 4,500 pixels wide or something like that, right? So this is 18 megapixels or, or thereabouts. I'm going to try and stopwatch this for you guys. I'm going to build the total map on this image with Loomist 1.1. 1, 2, 3. And done. Seven seconds. Not bad. Now, this is in uh, CC17, and I'm on a fairly fast machine. It's actually uh, a, a Mac Pro, so it has a lot of processing power, but it's not really new. So this should be the kind of performance that you should be expecting. It's not a long time. But sometimes when you're on a workflow and you're in a mode and you're building the map and you're refreshing the map, you want it to be faster. And where this is really going to come into play is on the 16-bit files where we really want to retain all that quality all that good stuff. Okay, let me run now. We had seven seconds. Okay, let's go back to zero. And now in Loomist 1.2 and just run this. About five and a half seconds. Okay, so you're like, a couple seconds, Gavin. What's the big deal? Here's the big deal. Now, first of all, a couple seconds adds up when you're having to refresh the map and things like that. But this is a lightweight file. Let's go to a big file. This is off an A7R2, 16-bit, which if you're editing in Photoshop, if we're looking for fine prints on the wall, 16-bits give us way more finer gradients and details. It makes a, a big difference. Working in 16-bit is something I always do for an important image. 16-bit slows everything down in Photoshop. It's not just a Loomis thing. This is just the nature of 16-bit. And sometimes it's a little painful, and it's getting better and better over time. But let's go to Loomis 1.1, and let's build this map on this full 16-bit file. Here we go. One, two, and three. Okay, we're building, mapping, mapping, mapping. Now, I picked a big file with a lot of information in it, and it is going to have to crunch away on this in 16-bit, just like any action you ran would have to do. But... Let's just see what kind of improvement we can get. It's still going. It's 16-bit. 16-bit can be very painful. Now, the upside is once Loomis runs, the other actions are going to be very quick. Okay, 26.65 seconds. 26 and a half, we'll call it. Let's go to Loomis 1.2, where we've revamped the way Loomis runs. We've used blend ifs and, and all kinds of other streamlining things. And one, two, three. Okay, we're running. Loomist 
14 and a half. Now, a few minutes ago, I ran it, and it went in about 13 and a half, okay? That is an 80 to 100% speed increase on this file. The whole thing with Loomis is to be able to give us that complete map, not only visually give us that map, but also give us the ability to uh, select all those tones. Loomis is better than ever. I also added a little uh, 10 pixel feather in here because that was requested. Just for those of you, if you're dealing with something where you don't want to feather a lot, my favorite is the 25 pixel feather to smooth things out. The bottom line is we can use Loomis to do any selection we need to, to control every zone and just to bring out the life in our images and take control over that tone. And Loomis 1.2 is faster than ever. The ability to build a map and select any tone in any zone like Loomis gives you is huge, but making it faster is even better and it makes us more effective. And you can expect 40 to 80, sometimes even 100% speed gains in Loomis 1.2 over previous versions. And it's just gonna make things that much easier and smoother. Also, in, in refreshing that backend and doing all this work that I did behind the scenes to make Loomis faster, it's giving me options in terms of going forward, and there's going to be some really cool stuff we're going to be able to do with Loomis in the future. Now, if you're not familiar with Loomis yet or you don't have it, go to simeffects.com to pick it up. You can also go to my YouTube channel, and there's a Loomis category here on my YouTube channel where you can see videos of Loomis hands-on and how it all works and why it's so powerful, and you're going to love it. All right, you guys, enjoy version 1.2.